Hi, I'm Greg Worth. And I'm Lisa Marie Costabile. We're here at the NAMM show in Anaheim. And we're here for Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. All right, so we're here at the Burl Audio booth, and I'm talking with Will Kahn. He's going to show me what they have new here at NAMM. Great, thanks. Um, yeah, so this year what we're releasing, the most important thing we're releasing this year is the B-16 Mothership, which is the exact same thing as our B-80 Mothership, which has been wildly successful in the industry and I'd say widely regarded as the best uh, A to D and D to A converter. And the B16 here beside me is a 2U. Uh, there's an internal power supply in the unit and it allows for two slots of cards. So where in the B80 mothership you have 10 slots of cards, in the B16 you have two slots. So this particular configuration is a four in, eight out mothership. Uh, it's much smaller and more portable. Um, we have also, we're announcing uh, right behind Greg, uh, Greg here, you see the Wave Sound Grid uh, plaque. And what that means is very shortly we're going to be shipping uh, Sound Grid, the Wave's Ethernet, uh, audio over Ethernet motherboard for the mothership. So something like this B16, you can actually plug directly into a laptop or a desktop computer with Ethernet. Uh, and this is also very exciting for the networking possibilities. So what we have in the B16 is a smaller, more portable way to get the sound of the B80 mothership uh, on the go, really, if you will. Um, also, we are releasing the BAES4 card. Uh, many people have been wanting uh, to have AES connect connectivity in the mothership. And so now we're finally releasing that. So I think that's great. <laughs> that's right. So uh, this has four channels in, four channels out of AES. It's a daughter card for either the B16 or the B80. Uh, and so for you know digital effects or for monitoring, anything you want to connect via AES, now you can do so with the mothership. Uh, a very popular use for this will be immediately uh, the B2 bombers, which is our two channel, especially the A to D also the D to A for, for monitoring. Um, you'll be able to incorporate the A to D of the B2 bomber right into a mothership. So that's what we have here from NAM 2016. Back to you, Greg. That's very cool. I've been asking for this forever, and apparently they do have ears and they can listen. Uh, this is cool. You know my birthday was just yesterday, so I don't know. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us this, man. Um, I'm excited to see new products from you guys every year, so thank you. Yeah. I do want to say one more thing. We are really proud to have Greg Worth as a Burl artist. Uh, he's been doing really great work, and I will have to say that Greg is one of the people who really, really gets what it is that we're doing. Um, some people know that it's a really great brand and they want what we, you know, the mothership and other products because they've heard that it's great. But I know through talking with Greg that he really intimately gets what it is that we're doing. And so we're really honored to have him on board in the Burl family. So that's all. Thanks for saying that. I really appreciate what you guys do. So see you around. Hi, this is Lisa Marie Costabile for Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. And today I am talking with Rob Harris of Furman. So it's so great to hang out with you. Nice. Nice to hang out with you as well and see you in person finally. I know. Um, I guess Greg and Rob have been playing Oh, we've been social playing email tag for quite a while and all kinds of stuff, yeah. A little phone tag as well. Also, I also see him standing behind the cameraman, too. I'm going to put that out there, but, you know, it's good to see him in person, finally. Exactly. Nice. Did, did you realize he's that tall? I did not know he was that tall. That's pretty impressive. I was uh, expecting a much shorter person, actually, because he's always in a chair whenever I see him in a video. So it's pretty interesting to see him in, in uh, human form. Right. Now, you're, you're telling me you're a musician as well. I'm a musician, singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, uh, recording engineer, all the above. Yeah, essentially been uh, geeking out on music for many years. And wow. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm also the artist relations manager for the company. So I get to deal with everybody from folks like Greg in the studio to Eddie Van Halen or Steve Vai or other folks you can see on the wall back here. And um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I deal with a lot of the technicians as well. Mm -hmm. So I just got a lot of friends out there in the touring world that are, uh, yeah. you know, putting it putting it to the ground. I like to say, you know, they're they're putting this stuff to work and and testing it out on the road for me. And it it's tried and true. All of the Furman products are tough as nails, and they'll all tell you that without me paying anybody. So because I don't pay anybody, I'm broke. Wow, that's a tough job. Now, do you get to go on tour with these guys or check them out or luckily, what? Luckily, I don't. I just visit them when they come through town because uh, I've been, I've done the bus thing before and I've done the van thing before that. So uh, it's all nice, fine and dandy. But if I could go home to my own bed, 
it's really uh, a really a nice place to be, let me tell you. I'd rather be in my own bed, and so would they for the most part, but I've lived in a bunch before, yes. <laughs> it's, it's fun. <laughs> now, you've been to how many NAMs, and what, what, um, what's going to be different this year, and what do you look forward to doing while you're at NAM? Like, what's the most fun? Oh, sleeping. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the parties, the parties. The parties are fun, absolutely. Just seeing a lot of friends, really. This is like old home week for us. We get to see everybody that, that's usually touring that I only get to see peppered out one by one. Everybody comes here to visit, see what the new products are, and you know, and then go out and go to parties and, and watch people play and just, just musicianship in general, as exactly. well as technology. Exactly. Combining the two of those, it's so much fun. I know, uh, every year I'm, I'm amazed, and um, you never know who's gonna walk by and Right, um, you know, you'll you'll see anybody, but uh, it's fun that you can see, you know, either CB Wonder walking through, or I've exactly. seen, you know, um, different uh, actors, you know, all kinds of people you'll see walk through. But for me, I'm more excited to see folks like Greg and yourself, you know. Oh, that's so sweet of you. you. Know? Well, every everybody wants to meet Greg, so because ah. <laughs> he's such a a geek tech, so. Well, you know, I'll take his brain. I'm not sure if I want the rest, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, thank he's you. Married, he's happy. Well, guess, thank so you. Good. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much for hanging out. This is Rob Harris with Berman. Are and, you kidding me? Yeah. And Who we're... wouldn't want to hang out? <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. Who wouldn't want to hang out with her? And this is Lisa Marie for Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. Thank you. Thank you. Here, I'm at the Alberg Audio booth with Alexander here to talk about some of their awesome guitar pedals. So what do you guys have here today? So we have uh, a tremolo pedal, a reverb pedal, and an echo pedal. And they use like a normal FX pedal, you turn them on and off with your foot, you have to bend down, change the parameters. But we've made something, we made pedals with a twist, a wireless controller. And this controller you can attach to your guitar, strap or belt, and that way you can uh, Bluetooth uh, control each parameter of the pedal. That's very cool. Thanks. It's, uh, we're, uh, we're, I think we're first movers. I don't think there's anyone else uh, out there with, with this uh, excited kind of a control and to, to the pedals, so we're, we're happy about it. So where are you guys from? Like, tell us a little bit how these came to be. Yeah, so we're uh, from Norway, uh, and uh, it was started in a university in uh, Norway um, five years ago. Uh, just kind of a drunken night out, and, uh, and yeah, why not have a wireless control for effects, right? And, uh, and kind of the ball started rolling, we got some uh, grants in, in Norway, uh, some money to make this happen and we got this amazing American distributor with us uh, developed the product through our uh, engineer that we have with us also so so kind of that's how it all started rolling now now it's in the US now it's uh, going out to Europe to Asia and, and yeah we're growing uh, so I mean where can people buy them you know I have viewers from all over the world so I mean is there any dealers or anything that you can tell us about or we have just set up distribution in um, in the biggest markets in the world in, uh, and in the U.S. It's it's kind of the introduction to this now. So KMC Music, our distributor, they're doing uh, talks with dealers uh, as of right now. So the, I guess the best way is to check our uh, our website oldbergaudio.com. That's uh, the oldbergaudio up there com and we have a dealer list and that'll be updated regularly so people can go there and see see where they can buy this very cool well that's awesome um, so yeah if you guys want to check it out go on allbergaudio.com i'll have the info on my website as well and uh, check it out very cool pedals all right here i'm at i'm at the pmi audio booth with alan hyatt and he's going to show me what they have here at the booth. Hi, Greg. Well, thanks. And hey, everybody, welcome to NAM 2016. So at the PMI booth this year, obviously, we are showing a lot of outboard gear. Uh, specifically, what I'm going to talk to you about today is what's coming up over the next few months. And that is this Trident 500 series rack. Now, um, this is a 10 space rack that's got switching that allows you to do stereo linking and jumping. So if you were to put three uh, 500 racks together to form a channel, like a mic pre, an EQ, and a compressor, you throw the jumper cables and all you really have to do is come into the mic pre and out of the last unit in the chain to complete your channels. 
It uses an external power supply. And as I said, it's 10 space. And this should retail for about $699. And we're hoping to ship this at the end of April. So that should be in the stores you know, by, by then and well on its way. The other thing I'd like to discuss is, of course, everybody knows what the Trident A range was. I mean, the Trident A range console made history in the 70s with all the hit records and the, you know, the classic sound of its EQ. But it is, of course, a very, very expensive EQ. And so we thought that it would be very interesting to see if we could try and come up with a 500 series module of the A range. And we actually were able to do it. And this is it right here. This is the 500 series A range. It is a mono channel. It is really the same thing using the same SATA transformers, um, but it does operate on the rail, different rail voltage of the 500 series. The final color will be the aubergine and not the black. Uh, the target price for this specific module is $999, and we hope by end of June that this module will be available for shipping. So, Greg, that's all well, we're that, this, this, this year. That's great. I'd love to try one out, and I'll, uh, I could feature it on the channel. I compared you know, three different EQs that I use, and I featured this on uh, as one of them, and yeah, th this works fantastic on the stereo bus. EQ, yeah, the, it's a, the portional EQ is really cool. It's, it, it just really sounds musical. But you can be sure, Greg, that I'll get you these 500 series in this rack as soon as we can do so. That sounds great. Thank, it's always a pleasure. Greg, always a pleasure. Thanks. Adios from them. Hey, I'm here at, with Alan Chaput at the Eventide booth, and he's here to tell us what new products they have. Yes, indeed. Um, the H9, as you know, is a, a pedal that can do a lot of different things. Reverbs, delays, modulation, pitch effects, the famous Eventide harmonizer. It's all in there. Um, generally, it can do only one of these things at once. We call them algorithms. It's a big word, but it, it, it just means uh, an effect that has its own little world and you can, you can tweak things and each one of our algorithms is its own thing. So one of our biggest customer requests was, well, can you do three effects in, in the H9 at once? And specifically, um, modulation, d uh, delays, and reverb. And uh, we're happy to say that we were able to do it. It took a, a lot of uh, tweaking, but the result was uh, this thing that we're calling space time. And it is a, a chorus with two delays and reverb. And uh, this is um, a software update for the H9. So if you have an H9, you'll be able to download this and add it to the stop box that you already own. So is it a paid upgrade or what, what, uh, what do you have to do to get it? There, there are three tiers of H9. There's the entry level one, which we call the H9 core. and um, and then there's a, a middle one, which is the H9 or the H9 standard. And then there's a, the kind of the top tier, which is the H9 Max. The uh, core only comes with one algorithm, and it's it's 3.99 street price. But you can you can buy algorithms for it, and you can all you can also max it out. You can turn it into a max. Um, so you can you can essentially upgrade it as you as you go a la carte. Uh, on the other hand, the the max comes with everything for life. So if you own a Max, you're going to get this space time for free automatically. That's great. Good news. You got something else you wanted to talk about? Yes, I do. Funny you should ask, Greg. Uh, right behind me is a top secret prototype of a possible limited edition space time H9. And this is a NAM exclusive. No one has seen this before this weekend. And should I move to my right a little bit and do the, the magic reveal? Wow, that's very cool. I like that. Sports cars with matte black—it's a thing. It's a thing now, uh, and uh, we just thought it might—it might be cool to do in a limited run. You know, maybe a few hundred. We wanted to gauge the response of people at the NAM show here, and uh, so far it's been really good. Everybody seems to uh, to want one. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool that you know if you can offer different colors and things because some people dig that. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is another example of something that we could do. This is a copper. It's not a paint job. It's actually copper. So it's like a little steampunk vibe or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and it'll age like the Statue of Liberty aged. It'll eventually get greenish and uh, sort of like evolve, which might be uh, a cool thing. So we're, we're again, we're, we're kind of just seeing people's reaction at the show here. And uh, if, if we get a good enough response, we could do limited runs of these 